Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 55, multiplying by three digit numbers. So when I multiply by three digit numbers, what I'm really doing is I'm multiplying by each place value. So 234 times 123 is the same as 234 times 100 plus 234 times 20 plus 234 times 3. Okay, and so if I did that, I'd end up with 23,400, 4,680, and 702. And I'd have to add all those up, and my answer would be 28,782. But that would take a really long time. So I don't have to separate the problem before I do it, okay? I can actually just multiply as it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply um, my one's place value, which is the three. So I'm going to do three times four. So three times four is 12, carry my one, Let's change a different color. Then I do three times three, which is nine, plus one is 10. So I put the zero down and carry my one. And then we do three times two is six, plus one is seven. So I have 702. Then I'm done with the three, so I cross it off. I erase all of the numbers I carried over and I put a zero down, because now I'm multiplying by the tens place. And 10 times any number we know ends in zero. Okay, so now I multiply. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six. And two times two is four. Okay, I cross off the tens place and this time I have two X's, so I'm going to put two zeros here, because I'm multiplying by the hundreds place. And I know that I multiply any number by 100, or by 100, I always have two zeros at the end. So I like to just put, no, I have two X's, so I have to have two zeros. Okay, now we multiply by the ones place. One times four is four. One times three is three. And one times two is two. Okay, now I add it all up. Two plus zero plus zero is two. Eight plus zero is eight. Seven, let's see, so we're going to do six plus four first, which is 10 plus seven is 17, carry my one. One plus four is five, plus three is eight, and then two. So my answer is 28,782. So got the same answer both ways. Now we need to know how to perform this with paper and pencil. Um, most people would use a calculator because it can take a really long time, but for this class, you're going to do it by paper and pencil. Okay, so the next problem says, a restaurant served 356 glasses of juice during brunch. The capacity of each glass was 250 millimeter, milliliters. About how many milliliters of juice did the restaurant serve during brunch? So since we have the word about, I know this, I can estimate. So to estimate the product, I'm, I can get closer to exact problem by rounding one factor up and one down. So I'm actually going to round 356 up to 300, and 250 I'm going to round down to 200. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to round it up. Since it's right in the middle, I'm still going to round it up to 300. Okay. Um, this is going to get me close. I'll be a little bit over since I rounded both numbers up. Okay. Oh wait, I read that wrong. Sorry, I re I'm rounding 356 down to 300. That's what I meant to say. Okay. That way I round one down and one up. And it just makes my numbers come out a little evener. A little more even. Okay, so 300 times 300 well, the two zeros here, I can just bring down, actually, because when I multiply by zeros, my answer is always zero. Then I can multiply by the three. So three times zero 
is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 3 is 9. So this is about 90,000 milliliters, or ml, of juice. Okay, let's do uh, two more, just to make sure we have it. So we're going to do, we would multiply the ones column first. So 4 times 6 is 24. I put the 4 down, carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. I erase the numbers I carried, I cross off the 4, and add a 0 down here. Okay, so now I'm doing 50 times 6, but since I have the 0, I can just think 5 times 6 is 30, carry my 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23, carry my 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Okay. And then I cross off the 5, and since I have two numbers crossed off, I need to put two zeros down here, because now I'm multiplying by 300. And then make sure to erase what you carried. So 3 times 6 is 18. Put down the 8, carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Okay, add these together. 4, 8, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 8 is 14, carry my 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry my 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then I have a 1. So my answer is 122,484. Okay, let's do one more. And I'm not going to circle this time. Let's just, I'm just going to speak it out. So 4 times 7 is 28, carry my 2. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34, carry my 3. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Erase my numbers, cross off the 4, add a 0. 3 times 7 is 21, carry my 2. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26, carry my 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 4 is 14. Okay, erase these numbers, cross off the 3. And I'll have two zeros down here. 6 times 7 is... 42, the 2 down, carry the 4. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 4 is 52, carry my 5. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29. Okay, add it together. 8, 5, 9 plus 6 is 15, plus 2 is 17. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry my 1, 1 plus th 2 is 3. So my answer is 308,700, oh, I know, I forgot, 2, let's see, oh, this was 20, that should have carried a 2 there. See, that's why it's important to double check your answers, because this should be 309,758. Nope, nope, I didn't write the first time. So it's okay to make mistakes, but you just always want to double check. Hey, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.